Hello everyone, Xenonism here. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Phantom Edition. Last time, we got my auto ear and we came to Valak Mountain. This time, it's time to reach this tower. Whew. Such a nice geyser. The jacked geyser. Uh, I don't know if that's if that's the place we have to eventually go. I might as well. S I think it is because I think it's the cavern. Because it does be a landmark for us. We want to get this now. Can't do anything here yet, but we need to be here. Oh, I think it is. I usually forget about this place, so. I believe as we enter. Shoot. Yep. Lava cave. We need to return here later. So, oh, God, feels good to be back. Though, playing this game again just reminds me how just long it takes to get everywhere. <laughs> Reminder for you geek for inspiring game developers. Make a way to transport around the area faster because gods is it needed. So, so long. But yeah, I guess. Unlike before, because re looking at my episodes. Uh, where is it? But uh, yeah, I notice I haven't been talking as much as I think I am when recording these. Partly because I'm in awe, but partly because I'll shut up until the cutscene's done. Ruins. I wonder who built them. Elvis? This the place you meant? Mm hmm. It appears to have frozen over while I have been away. Been away? Pay me no mind. We will need to do something about the ice before we can enter. Throw hot water on ice! Yeah, nice one, genius. Precisely. There should be a geezer nearby. In the cave next to it, we will find a stone called Magma Rock. And we can use this rock to melt the ice? I believe so. So, shall we head to the cave? Sounds good. Start looking for a geezer, everyone. I don't know why they went with that pronunciation of geyser. That's an old version of saying geyser. And I don't get why they use that. Uh, let me just check. Finney, sorry. Area maps. The good news is, we got to the lab cave, so, yeah. But yeah, so I'm going to try and 
be a bit more talkative, even if it's just me ranting. Because I, I don't realize how well I talk. Ooh. I now want to gemcraft to see what gems there are. This is some really good gems. Shulk. Ride. I'm all I got it. So yeah. Hopefully I'd start doing better. Yeah, so oh. oh, it was chill defense we almost caught to level 4. Ignore me then. But yeah, I'll try and speak a bit more. I can't promise anything, but I'll try. But yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this because... I'm enjoying playing the game. Red. The game does remind me that why I'm probably... Oh my god, I... Yeah, we should be quick for that. Because... Awesome Dance is nice here. But... It has made me realise being like... How long this game is, I don't think I'll be able to carry Future Connected right away. So, that plan is going out the drain, sadly. But I will still show the cutscenes and I will commentate my thoughts on the game. I will eventually do LP of it. Same with Zimbabwe 2. But Zeebly 2, like with Teacher Connected, I w will just, instead of... What's the... Instead of LPing it, I will just... I will just, uh... I will just watch the cutscenes, have them done by chapter after chapter, I will eventually LB2, but I really want to start showing you guys my blind LP of free. Have it ready. Now again started. That's right. 
right. Timing is everything. Remember that. <laughs> Was that a little too much? All right, Melia. But yeah. Uh, so there will be me getting into future connected. But I will show off the cutscenes. I don't know by the time you guys hear this, will this be the case though? Will this be the. Will, that I will actually do Xenoblade. I'll be on Xenoblade 2 or not. We actually have to fight this guy. No problem. Understood. Water! The source of all life! Focus your attack! I'm on it. Understood. Here we go! Hilarious! Helping each other is our greatest right time. I fear I approach my limit. The fight is very strong. You steal yourself. And I do not want to fight. Building the enemy. Because they're trying to use elemental cannon, which is not good for me. Glad that we can just switch. How can this be? Sorry to bother you. Ah, uh, still on Dumban. Well, we're gonna have to run because those damn ele elementals. If it weren't for those damn elementals, uh, elementals, I don't think. Get rid of it. Oh, my God. 
go. Of course it's Ryan time. Get rid of this. Okay, he's dead. Oh, we learned that you are Asmelia. Do that. Oh well. Good job, everyone. Nicely done. And now that chest isn't a gold one, and it's the only one that isn't. Oh. Ah, uh, this is a rare item, and uh, sometimes it doesn't appear. Ooh, that's actually really good. Okay, let's check the R's though. What did we learn? Summon Earth. I, I'm weird on this because I like this. And I like turning Melia into a pure summon, but I'm weird on it. I'm still gonna max out. Oh yeah, we can't max out. But I'll max out as much as I can. It's weird. Uh, finish art. Let's just quickly check on Melia. Melia still... Come on! Uh... You know what? Let's check with Shook. Nope. You're not ready for the next one. Area maps. Valakman. Herkt. Chapel. And let's melt it. Quest complete. We get no experience. The letters are worn and difficult to make out, but it's definitely the language of the High End here. They look just like the lettering on Prison Island. If only we could. Just walk inside. <laughs> this place. Something up, Shulk? No, it's just. I feel like I know this place. Deja vu. I'm not sure, but. I thought I had it. I can't seem to recall. Are you all right? What? You must be tired. Don't worry. This is Ose Tower. Built by the High Entia to house and protect the Monado. The ceremony of seers was conducted here. It is also where the Homs found the Monado. Wait, you mean...
So this is where the Monado was kept. My dad took it from here. Have you always been able to see the future? You told me you were from a long line of seers. Did you have the ability from birth? Once, I too came into contact with the Monado. Huh. Those that are to be seers must touch the Monado. And a chosen few receive our power. That is the ceremony of my family. And the ceremony was held right here. Shulk, why do you think we can see the future? I hadn't really thought about it. After I grabbed the Monado, I just saw things. Your visions are the flow of ether itself. Ether is the very source of our world's existence. Where and how much ether there exists now and in the future can be predicted. Therefore, in principle, the future of living beings such as us can also be predicted. And there is one thing that makes possible the visualization of those predictions. You mean... the Monado? The Monado can disrupt the ether, allowing you to release certain powers. Which means... My visions, under the same principle, are there to disrupt the future. With no one to control the outcome, the future will never change. But what if someone were to disrupt the future? What then? The future would be changed. Is that how Zanza planned to defeat the Mechonis? But why go to such lengths? What happened all those years ago? Did you think it was just a myth? I used to only believe in what I could see. My home, my friends, the Monado itself. I knew those things were real. But when you took the Monado in your hand, you gained the ability to see that which was not meant to be seen. Are you saying I should stop? You are... a fluctuation. As a fluctuation, you exist outside the results of your predictions. The more you accept this existence, the more malleable the world becomes. In fact, you have no choice but to accept it. Whew. Good morning. Did we sleep well? Oh, I can't feel my face or feet. What do you think? Rain not tell truth. Rain snoring make Ricky think of Orluka. Oi, I don't snore. <laughs> Sword Valley is just around the corner. Inside, I don't know if we can do any, do this hard hard, but I, if we can, I want to do it. Okay, we can. Uh, party, because this one's actually a really nice one. So I'm gonna view it. I'll say tower.
such a nice moment. And this is why Ricky's such... Probably one of the best characters. Is that, yeah, in terms of story, he doesn't get too much, but he's not meant to be. He's, sort of, he's the common belief in the story, but the heart as well. Which does lead into other scenes that I do want to show off. I won't be showing really much more heart to hearts because being real, most of them, while they're good, it's a case of, yeah, you need to see them yourself. Granted, they're really good at raising affinity, so maybe I should be trying to do them. But I also don't remember what heart to heart is what. And I don't like scavenging around for them. Granted, this, this, speaking of Valma, this is leading me to say, uh, while I won't be using this file to go beat the super bosses, I do plan to fight them. I will be using my personal file because, a less grinding. B. I can show you what a pretty powerful party looks like. And D. I can just... It gives me a reason if I haven't gotten all the skill... the skills to... the skill trees to unlock all the skill trees. Effectively, it gets me to actually, finally, like, fully 100% this. Well, 100% again, because I've done it on the Wii version a long time ago. But I do want 100% file on the Switch. We're getting close, and because we're not getting I think we're getting out of the area. Yeah, we're getting out of the area of enemies that will attack us. So, I'm actually going to switch out Rhine for Shulk. Because, surprise, surprise, we're going to be going into a boss fight. Yeah, we're going to keep it like this. Alright, the crawly slow boss. Ignore them. Oh, we're almost down. We're almost there. Though I do like that they leave footprints about. The Great Glacier. No great glacier about. That Mekon. It is you. Hey, that's Fiora! Young heir to the Monado. We meet again. Fiora! Fiora? Is that my name? Then you... You know this body? So it's true. You really don't remember us at all. Fiora, listen! If nothing else, you must remember your family. That's Dunban over there. Family? There is family. Wielder of the Monado. There is a matter I must speak to you about. Fiora! 
What was that? Metal face. Stay alert. You killed my father. Get him! Get away from her! No, no. Let's all calm down. If I slip, I might mess up her hair. You. You're disgusting! Would you be so kind and hand over that dangerous toy you have? I could take it after I smash you all to a pulp. <laughs> but we wouldn't want that, would we? All right. You can have it. But only if you let her go. There's a good boy. Always eager to please, Shulk. <laughs> but you're... How's it going, Dunman? Is that... Munkar? I thought it might be, but... You're to blame for all this. I can't tell you how badly I wanted this sword. Has this puny boy even figured out how it works yet? What are you willing to do? Would you even kill a Homs to beat us? You dare ask that of us? Why did you betray us to the Conis? Why did you kill our friends at the colony? Why? You want to know? Because it's your home. You piece of... Stay where you are. That thing works by remote. So, unless you want me to put a hole in her neck... <sighs> so what's it to be, weaklings? <laughs> Grovel at my feet and beg! <laughs> We will not bow to you! Will you hit that guy in the face? Uh, you'll pay for that, princess! You're a traitor, Mumkar. And you're not getting away. Ah. The reveal. The melt face. Was Mumkar. So, the reveal that Malface is Monkar is pretty obvious, but I kind of like that it is. Because not everything in all games has to be so complicated. You can have sometimes an obvious villain, because it also allows you to get you to get you a bit distracted for some of the things. Oh, this is so hard to decide. Ugh, I don't like it. Get off me! Good job, everyone! Plus, most people complain about Mumkar. Mumkar isn't like the other Xenoblade villains, or even the villains from other Xeno games, and I'm like, I feel like he missed the point of Mumkar. He isn't meant to be so deep. It's meant to be. Yeah, to me, villain where you can understand why he became a villain, which we'll get to later. Get off me! 
you have become, you wretched fool. The Monado will stop you, and then you will know the shame of all that you have done, traitor! Shut your mouth and come on! That light! It's not like the other Mechon. You are right, heir to the Monado. This is the strongest Mechon ever built. Controlled by me, Egil, leader of Mechonis, an agent of Maynet. Leader of Mechonis? So you're the one who controls the Mechon? I am he. We fight to free the world from the tyranny of the Bionic. Why? Why do you trap bombs in machines? What do you want from us? Why make us fight for you? Your questions do not concern me. I must return with this one. Fiora! Get your hands off her! Fiora! If you want her, come and get her. You are more than welcome on the comet. Come and visit any time, Dunvan! Munka! We're coming! And we won't give up! Find us, Monado, Sword of the Bionic. We will meet you on the battlefield. Fiora, we will find you! Fiora! We'll see where. Fiora. Shulk. She's... Get it together, Shulk. <sighs> we ain't got time to be hanging around here. I don't know what's happened to her, but that was Fiora. No doubt about it. You know what that means? She ain't dead. We gotta get her back. Get her back. Right. We've come too far to give up now. Then we'll go to Mekonis. And find Fiora. Just beyond there lies Sword Valley. The Mekon flew in the direction of Galahad Fortress. Fiora may be there. Will you pursue, Shulk? Yes. We will get Fiora back. And... Let's continue.
all of these effects. Right. All right, skill trees. Stands aura duration. Ricky learned a new art. What art did you learn? I don't remember you. Oh, you learned Ricky's angry. Uh, an art I don't really like personally. That big sword? Oh, if he's, then ouchie ouch! The sword of the Mekonis. The entire valley below. The whole thing is its sword. Something seems... unnatural. What do you mean? Look. That flowing light. From the way it glows, it has to be ether. But it looks like it's being... Drawn in by something. By the fortress. It should just be up ahead. Father once told me that the Meconis absorbs the ether of the Bionis and uses it for sustenance. So the Meconis feeds off ether? Then undoubtedly the ether serves as the Mekon's energy source as well. An interesting revelation. Let us continue downward. Darkness bottle. Uh, we should be getting down to the next cutscene soon, so there's not much I can talk about. Sword Valley. We're finally reaching the Mechanus region. Still technically considered part of on this, music wise. It looks so big, even from this distance. The fortress must be enormous. Galahad Fortress, the frontline base of the Mekon. The Mekon that attack Bionis must all come from here. Then, there's a high probability that he's there. The golden Mekon that took Fiora. We're about to enter the Mekon stronghold. If there's anyone who wants to turn back now... Shulk, friend should no split up. No leave friend behind. Ricky's scared, but Ricky won't go too. Ricky... He's right. Okay, let's go. Yes. <laughs> and we're still not done with the cutscenes. This is part of the reason why I didn't want to end the episode there, because, uh, yeah, though, that's interesting. There's some high end uh, Tom's pods. What's that? A supply convoy. It would be most unwise to proceed without restocking our supplies. You arranged this for us. Hey, it's... Dixon! Looks like you lot have been having fun without me. Heard you took care of that faced Mekon. What are you doing here? I got wind of some allied force coming together a few days back. I stepped up as the representative of the Homs. 
Then a little birdie told me you lot were heading for Galahad Fortress. So I thought I'd drop by and say hello. I've got a whole stack of new equipment. Want some? Yeah! I was hoping for some new stuff. Hold it, Ryan. You know it's gonna cost you. You cheap old man. I'm gonna call the exit after we've just taken this ether. Hello. But now, we have anti mech on weapons. We don't have the money for them. <laughs> because they're mad expensive. Uh, healing gift, thunder. Soaring Tempest, we really want. Reflection, we haven't even learned yet. Lariat. Mind Last, we definitely want to learn as well. So, we'll get to selling gear. No, it's just better for Ether and it's meh. Want to at least get anti mech on weaponry for pretty much everyone. Those are pretty bad ones. He's is good though. We will buy the anti mech on Straker, the driver, and we'll try and get these two. So give me a moment. No, I'm not finished my preparations. But I guess we can use this time. Since. Just. Because we're going to be. Kevin keep oh, that sucks well then you get double attack shook hello yeah But yeah. I'm gonna get rid of that one. So, I guess I'll use the time to basically say, yeah, this is gonna be the end of this episode. Next time, we will continue on to Galahad Fortress and hopefully, hopefully just get closer to finding, to getting back Fiora. Well, I also sell some of our crystals because normally I used to have money. Apparently, this day and age, I'm not. And I'm not even using the twos or the ones, so I'm gonna sell them. Holy cow, I've got a lot of. Yeah, we can't get the rest of the gear, but the rest of the gear is, wait, oh, 
it is actually quite kind of good. But it's only parts, so it's like, eh. I'll have to come back here to get the books and gear, but yeah. Next time, we're going to talk to Dixon and get through Sword Valley. See you guys then. Zeno and Zimmer, signing out.